Hello everyone, welcome to the AWS PyCharm tutorial series. For this tutorial, we're going to use MongoDB as our primary database. As you know, MongoDB provides a managed database as a service, which is also known as MongoDB Atlas. They offer free storage up to 512 megabytes, which is good enough for development, but not suitable for production workloads. Okay, I've successfully logged in. This is the landing page, which provides a list of information related to your databases. Now I'm going to click on Build a Cluster. I will choose Shared Cluster, which is free of cost. I will choose AWS as my cloud provider and pick Nearest Region to reduce latency. I will set cluster name as MyDB. After that, I will click on Create Cluster. It will take a few minutes to provision the new cluster. As you can see, our database has been successfully created. For accessing the database, we need to set up a username and a password. Along with that, we also need to whitelist our IP addresses so our machine can connect to the database. Click on Database Access. Provide a username and click on Auto Generate Secure Password. In Database User Privileges, make sure you have access to read and write to any database. Also, make sure to enable permission to access the cluster. And finally, click on Add User. It will take some time to reflect those changes. Now click on Network Access. Make sure to whitelist your IP address. As you can see for this tutorial, I provided 0.0.0.0, which means I can connect to the database from any IP address. This is definitely not good when it comes to security. Please follow the defense in depth approach and try to restrict IP addresses. Exposing everything to the outer world makes it more vulnerable to data breaches and hacking. After setting up the network access, it will take some time for changes to take effect. As you can see, all of our changes have been successfully updated. Now I'm going to follow the instructions for connecting to the MongoDB database. I'm going to click on Connect, and again, I will click on Connect using MongoDB Compass. I will copy the connection string. As you can see, PyCharm is already running. I will click on the Database section. I will click on the plus button, hover to Data Source, and then MongoDB. Now paste the connection string in the Host section. We will be updating all the information like user, database name, password, and the URL. After that, I'm going to click on Test Connection to check whether I am able to establish a connection to the database or not. As you can see, the connection was successful. I'll click on Apply and then OK. We have successfully connected with the MongoDB database through PyCharm. In the upcoming video, I will show you how to write REST APIs and use MongoDB as our primary data store.